What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus, and kind of what to expect at the September 9th media event with Apple. Now first up, like with all other S model devices, we're supposedly going to see a new faster chipset. So hopefully it's going to be more efficient, as well as faster. Now we can't get a clock speed or anything like that just yet, but of course that'll come all in due time. Now the rear facing camera is something that we've been waiting for an upgrade for quite a while now. We've been at 8 megapixels for the past 3 years. But hopefully on this 6S and 6S Plus model, we're going to be seeing a rear facing camera upgrade to 12 megapixels. Now, not only that, but we're also going to be seeing a slightly wider aperture as well as hopefully 4K video recording, which I think would be really awesome. Now, the upgrades don't stop there at the rear facing camera, but we're also going to see an upgrade in the front facing camera as well from 1.2 megapixels which is pretty miserable, up to five megapixels, which is a massive upgrade. Now, not only that, but we're also hopefully going to be seeing 720p slow motion with the front facing camera, as well as panorama shots. Now, Force Touch has been the talk of the town lately, and this is supposedly supposed to ship with the new Apple devices. Now, I'm pretty excited to see how they're gonna implement this and what uses Apple is actually going to use with them, but I'm also excited to see what jailbreak devs are gonna do with this feature as well. Just because if Apple doesn't implement it in a way that we want to, jailbreak devs will for us. So we just have to wait till iOS 9 is jailbreakable and we're gonna see some pretty cool stuff with this, I think. Now, one thing that we've been waiting for for a long time is an upgrade in RAM. So right now we're sitting at one gig of RAM in these devices. So hopefully in the 6S models, we're gonna be seeing at least two gigs of RAM. Now, I wouldn't complain if we saw three gigs or four gigs, but at least double that to two gigs of RAM just because we've been struggling with one gig for quite some time. Now in terms of storage, we're probably gonna see the exact same thing that we saw last time with a base model of the 6S and the 6S Plus uh, starting at 16 gigs. Now, I know this makes a lot of people a little unhappy just because they wanna see that base model at 32 gigs, which I would totally agree with. But for me, I gravitate more towards the 64 gigs just because, I mean, that's a massive bump. From 16 gigs to 64 gigs for an extra 100 bucks, it's worth it to me, but I know a lot of people are trying to save that extra 100 bucks. But at the same time, if you use iCloud storage, you can get storage there as well. So if you get that 16 gig, you can kind of defer off to iCloud as well. Now, what about battery life? Now, of course, this is always an issue with new devices and as well it should be. We need to have at least enough battery life to get throughout the entire day with optimal use. So with the new devices, we're actually gonna see a slightly smaller battery. So for the 6S, we're jumping down from 18 milliamps to 17, 15 milliamps. And for the 6S Plus, we're jumping down from 2910 down to 2750. Now, keep in mind that Apple's not gonna come out on stage and say, hey, we have less battery life. What they did is they improved the chipset as well as performance probably of the battery. And we're gonna probably see the exact same type of battery life that we're seeing in the 6 and the 6 Plus right now. So don't think you're gonna get less battery life with a smaller battery. They've just optimized usage. Now, if you've been waiting for a brand new color for your iPhone, wait no longer because there's supposedly going to be two new colors, one being rose gold and pink. So, pink. Now let's talk about our wish list, things we want to see, but we probably won't. So one of those things is wireless charging. I would love to have wireless charging on my device just because I could come home, take my phone out of my pocket, throw it on a wireless charging pad, and don't worry about it. It's, now it's charging and it's going to continue to charge. I don't have to fish out you know, a cable from behind my PC to plug it in or you know, take off my case and throw it in a dock. I can just throw it onto the wireless charging pad and be done with it. Next thing is super fast charging or supercharging, whatever they call it, I don't even know. But Android devices have this and basically, or some Android devices have this, and you can charge from zero to 100% in two hours, which would be really awesome because the iPhone 6 Plus actually takes about three and a half hours. So that's 75% longer uh, to charge your entire battery. Now in terms of pricing, it's gonna stay basically the same as it was last time. So the iPhone 6S at 16 gigs is gonna start at 199 and the 6S Plus is going to start at 299. And that's with a two year contract. Of course, if you don't have the two year contract, it's gonna be more expensive. So you're starting at 649 for the 6S and 749 for the 6S Plus. Now, of course, like I said, these devices are gonna be unveiled on September 9th at Apple's media event. You're probably gonna be able to pre-order on September 11th, and you'll actually be able to pick these up 
on September 18th. That is, of course, based on their previous trends and launch dates. Now, of course, if you guys want to stay up to date with all the 6S and 6S Plus news, make sure you follow me on Twitter. And if you guys can't watch the Apple Media event on September 9th, I'll be live tweeting that out. So I'll keep you up to date with that as well. Hopefully, Apple's going to have a few things up their sleeves that, you know, I haven't mentioned in this video and we haven't really heard in the blogosphere. We'll just have to see what happens. But let me know what you guys think about the new 6S and 6S Plus in the comments below. What features are you wanting to see? Maybe that I didn't even mention in this video in the new devices as well as are you going to be picking one of these up let me know in the comments below because i'll be eager to see what you guys have to say all right guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button of course if you want to see more videos just like this then make sure you subscribe all right guys until next time peace